I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for February 17th, 2023. The Hill reports, Social Security set to run short of funds one year earlier than expected. Social Security funds are set to start running a shortfall in 2032, one year earlier than previously expected, the director of the Congressional Budget Office said on Tuesday. If the Social Security funds become insolvent and there is no change to current laws, beneficiaries would see a more than 20% reduction in their benefits. This is the CBO's second update to the Social Security insolvency date in the last two months, after it adjusted its projection down to 2033 in mid-December. The CBO pointed to the large cost of living adjustment announced last year for the change in its projection. The Social Security Administration issued an 8.7% increase in October, the largest COLA hike in 40 years amid sky-high inflation. The high inflation resulted in a high cost of living adjustment, and that in turn negatively affects the solvency of the Social Security Trust Fund. In a related story, Axios reports, Medicare politics are on a crash course with reality. There's an inconvenient truth underneath the politics of Medicare. Its finances are simply unsustainable. Medicare is one of the largest line items in the U.S. budget, and as the population ages, it's expected to only get more expensive. Medicare spending is expected to more than double by 2033, climbing to $1.6 trillion, or over 4% of the entire U.S. economy, according to an estimate released on Wednesday by the Congressional Budget Office. The program's trustees have said the fund that pays for Medicare's hospital coverage will soon reach a dangerous tipping point, paying out more than it takes in. On that trajectory, it eventually will not be able to pay for the coverage it's supposed to provide. And finally, the Houston Chronicle reports, Ted Cruz tells supporters he's running for re-election to the Senate in 2024, not for president. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz made it clear to his supporters on Monday night that he's running for re-election to the Senate and not for the White House. Senator Cruz said, quote, I'm on the ballot in 2024. I'm running for re-election. Other Republicans have stepped back from the presidential race, struggling to find a lane between Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis who has quickly emerged as a popular alternative to the former president, leaving little room for others. In his 2024 Senate race, Cruz said he's preparing for the Democrats to come for him after he won by less than three percentage points in 2018. He predicted Democrats would try to spend more than $100 million against him. Cruz said his focus in 2024 would be winning re-election so, quote, we keep Texas red. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for February 17th, 2023. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.